So, you know what? This horror film was an unexpected pleasant surprise. And it actually made me smile. See what did there? Ha 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 ha. Smile. So Smile A is written and directed by Parker Finn. And basically, the film follows the story of this character Rose, who is this doctor who sees this traumatic death happen in front of her. And as she's seen this person die in front of her, they have an evil smile on their face. And then basically, this evil smile curse haunts Rose throughout the rest of the movie and puts her in danger as well as her close friends and family. And that's basically the plot of Smile. And honestly, I really enjoyed this film and I didn't expect to whatsoever. Honestly, I'd like I'd heard barely anything about the film going into it. And then I went to watch it last night and I was like, wow, actually that was pretty entertaining. I mean it gets a bit silly towards the end and it kind of reminded me of the quote unquote horror from It Chapter 2, which wasn't so memorable, but at the same time though, it's also got a lot of great horror in there, particularly in its first two acts, which work really, really well, and even though some of the horror you can see coming from a mile away, it still works, and I think the reason that the horror works in the film, the reason that it's so scary, is because of the film's direction, because of Park Finn, who does this fantastic job framing certain scenes, so you don't really know where things are coming from, or you don't really know where... <laughs> You just, you don't really know what's going to happen in the scene, that's what I'm trying to say. I think that Park Finn did a great job, you know, directing the movie and just oh, staging certain scenes in such a fantastic way, in my opinion, that literally keep you on the edge of your seat. And the thing is though, the film also has jump scares which work. I'm not a big fan of jump scares in horror movies. In fact, my two favourite horror films, John Carpenter's The Thing and Silence of the Lambs, don't really have many jump scares in there. I'm not sure if The Thing does actually, or if it did, I didn't really get scared of them, but I still think The Thing is one of my favourite horror movies. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But the thing is, those are my two favourite horror movies, and for what I remember, they don't have a lot of jump scares in them. But this movie does, and I'm not the big biggest fan of jump scares simply because I don't like being scared. I'm not the biggest fan of horror movies uh, for the same reason. But the thing is though, with Smile, the jump scares worked me because I was scared by them. There was actually quite a few moments in the film where I just went, Ooh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that to happen. And like, <laughs> that was a really nice surprise because I was watching the first 10 minutes of the movie going, uh, I don't really know if I'm buying into this, don't know if I'm buying into this Rose character, I don't really like the scenery, it, it seems a bit fake and it doesn't seem that real to me. And then as the film progresses, it kind of uses that to its advantage. Even though the film does look a bit fake in some aspects, in terms of the settings, like the house that Rose lives in, it doesn't actually look like it's being lived in. And her and her fiancé are meant to be living in the house, even though the settings don't look as real as you might want them to, you still buy into these characters and you still buy into the horror and I think yet again that's all down to Parker Finn who directed this movie, wrote it as well and he just he did such a great job with the horror in this film and I really didn't expect that and actually I liked the horror in this movie. I don't like horror movies. I don't like well there's quite a few horror movies I don't like just simply because they are scary <laughs> and I just don't like re-watching them. And I don't know if I'll ever go back to rewatch this movie, I've got to admit. It is one of those films where I'm kind of happy I watched, but I don't know if I'd ever watch again, which I'll go on to a bit later in this review. But the thing is though, I am happy I saw it because I had a really good time with it and I didn't expect to get scared whatsoever, but this movie did have scary moments. That's what I'm trying to say there. It had scary moments, which worked for me. Back on what I was saying a couple of seconds ago, will I ever watch this film again? Probably not. And I think that's another big problem in the movie. I think it's a horror movie made to be watched at the cinema. I think if you watch this on a TV screen, like on streaming or on DVD or whatever, I don't think it would work as well. And I think that was a merit for me watching it last night. I was watching the cinema going, oh wow, this is really working with the booming sound coming out of the speakers and these fantastic visuals that I'm seeing on the cinema screen. But then I was also thinking, I don't think it would work as well as a TV. I don't think it would work as well on a TV. I don't know if this is a whole movie you can rewatch time and time again. I don't know if it's got much rewatchability in it, and I feel that it is a whole movie to watch in the cinema, so it is still out in cinemas, and go and check it out, because I highly recommend it. But at the same time, though, I'm not sure if it's a whole movie that is going to be good watching it on a streaming service on your TV. I don't think it'll have the same effect, 
and I don't think it has much rewatchability. And at the same time, though, sticking on criticisms. There's certain plot lines of the film which are kind of put in there, then forgotten about halfway through. Like, there's this character, I won't give away who, but he's in the film for a significant amount of time, and then he just kind of disappears in the second act of the movie, and I'm like, okay, where did he go? And they don't ever pick up on that, and I was a tad bit annoying. And also, the lore and the mystery surrounding this curse with the evil smile isn't fully explained. And I kind of liked that, but I also kind of didn't, because I wanted a bit more of an explanation into what is this curse. And I dare say, if, you know, if Smile ever gets a sequel, they could go into that a bit more. If it gets a prequel to Smile like that, it could go either way. Or even if it gets a TV show, they could do more in this world and I like that but fingers crossed it doesn't go you know in the direction of like the Halloween sequels where it just becomes more and more silly and instead dies more into the lore. I wanted to know a bit about this curse a bit more and it does go into that but not as much as I wanted it to. I've just got to admit and also, the third act of the film does get a bit silly. I've already mentioned that, but I'm going to mention it again here. The third act of the film is kind of like, eh, this doesn't really fit in with the rest of your movie. Like, not to go into too much detail, but there's use of CGI in the third act, which I don't mind CGI movies. I don't. But I don't feel this is a movie that needed CGI. At least a large amount of CGI anyway, because actually there's quite a bit of CGI. Well, it looked like there was anyway. It looked like a lot of CGI was used in the third act, and I'm not sure if it needed to be there. I've just got to admit. But saying that though, I did still like the film. I had a good time with it. And I didn't expect to, like I said, thought I went to the movie actually a bit like, why am I going to see this? I didn't really like the trailers whatsoever. I thought the film's trailers, I actually thought the film's marketing was rather forgettable. When I've seen a trailer for this before, I go watch a movie at the cinema, I'd be like, eh. Maybe I'll watch it, maybe I won't. But I went to go watch it last night because I had a bit of free time in my hands. And actually, it surprised me. I came out and went, you know what? That was pretty good. I came out with a smile on my face because I enjoyed what I watched. It was a fun horror movie. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not going to be one of those horror movies which is talked about in, you know, 10, 20 years' time. Like John Carpenter's thing, which, again, I only watched that a couple of months ago, actually. And, wow, that's just, it was so, so good. And, you know, Smile didn't have the same effect on me as John Carpenter's The Thing did. But, you know, that's comparing a classic to just this new movie that's come out literally a couple of days ago. It's, you know, it's comparing two things which shouldn't really be compared. But I just wanted to compare them because I watched John Carpenter's Thing. I was like, okay, that is Hyder Hall movie. And I watched this and I don't know. It just, it didn't have the same effect to me, but yeah, like I said before, that's comparing a classic to a new film, and I do think that's a bit unfair of a comparison. But still, nonetheless, like I said before, I did like Smile, I had some great performances in there, I think that the lead performance, which is one thing I haven't mentioned yet, but the lead performance from uh, Sosie Bacon, I might pronounce her name, I'm going to apologize if I am, uh, as Rose, she's fantastic, I believe in her character because of the way she played because of the way the actors played it and also Jesse T Usher who I only know as A Train from the boys he's in there and he plays Rose's fiance and he does a great job by the way I really liked him in fact I kind of would have liked him a bit more of him actually but all the performances are great as well like the one who plays uh, Rose's sister is great in the movie and the one who plays Rose's mother is great in the movie as well and also the doctor her boss Rose's boss is good in the movie I believe in all the characters which is one thing you want from a whole movie and it was well directed it was well written in my opinion with the exception of the third act which got a bit silly but still nonetheless I had a good time with it and you know what it did get me scared which is what a whole movie needs to do in the end i was watching from the cinema last night and i was scared watching it i did it does have some creepy sequences and also has some jump scares which worked not because it was jump scares but because actually the way the film was written and because the way the film was directed they kind of felt that like the jump scares were earned all the jump scares felt like they were earned in the movie and i really liked that about it and so all in all i thought smile was a good horror movie i really liked it and i didn't expect to and so for that reason i'm gonna say that it's a 
You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm gonna say it's a 7.5 out of 10. Like I said before, you know, this isn't gonna be one of those horror movies that people talk about in 10, 20 years' time. I mean, it might be, it might be, but I just, I doubt that. But, you know what? If you're getting the mood for, you know, Halloween, again, spooky season now, I don't know if it's coming out, but it'll be almost, oh, will it be October when the review comes out? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Uh, it might be, so if it's October when the review comes out, there you go. And so you might be in the mood to go watch a horror movie at the cinema. And I would recommend this one. Granted, I know some other ones out right now which I just haven't got around to seeing. But, you know, Smile was a good fun horror movie with some good horror sequences in there which worked to me. It's a bit of a slow burner. Like, I actually think the film gets. I was about to say the film gets better as it goes on. And then I would have contradicted myself because I also said in the interview that the third act is quite silly. No, the film doesn't get better as it goes on. But the second act of the film, I was like, oh, why would we get into something? And then the third act got into some things as well. Now, we like the ending of the film. But, like I said before, it's got a bit silly. But it is one of those movies where, you know, you're watching it and you just you really enjoy watching it. I don't really know what I'm saying, to be honest. But you get the point I'm making. It was a good horror movie that surprised me. It made me smile. I was smiling come out of the cinema. Uh, last night and yeah I, I just I didn't expect to I didn't think the trailers for the film were any good but when I watched it I was kind of surprised by how much I was getting into the movie and although it is not a film I'm probably going to ever watch again I still I'm happy that I saw it you know what? I'm really happy that I saw it and I definitely recommend it it's just yeah, I'm not a big fan of horror movies, so perhaps that's the reason I'll probably never go and watch this one again. You know, I only go back and rewatch horror movies if they really, you know, touch me on a certain level or if they really surprise me or had this like big connection to them, like Silence of Lambs and like John Carpenter's The Thing. But you get the point I'm making. You know, this horror movie, the reason I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, which I haven't said yet, but the reason I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 was because it was enjoyable. I had some good horror in there, and it, even though it did get a bit silly towards the end, and even though it does have some plot lines that it just forgets about, and even though, you know, <laughs> it isn't brilliant, it's a lot of fun, and it has some good scary moments in there, and I'd recommend it. If you're in the mood to go watch a horror movie at the cinema right now. And so, all in all, I'm going to say smile. I'm going to say that it's a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Anyway, guys, what do you think of Smile? Please comment down below and know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, thank you as always for watching. And if you haven't yet, please do click down below and like and subscribe on this video. And look forward to many more both film and TVs and podcasts coming very, very soon on this channel. See you guys again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.